So one thing I've figured out this year is that Taylor Swift definitely can't please everyone. I mean, she might have a crazy successful career and a squad of girlfriends that we're pretty much all jealous of, but the truth of the matter is she also has her fair share of enemies. So today I present to you 11 celebrities who in the past have attempted to take down Taylor Swift. Warning, this could get ugly. Hey guys, I'm your host Chelsea Briggs and you're watching the Hollywire Hot Minute. Alright, so let's kick this off with the one person who used to be the biggest Taylor fan and who definitely isn't anymore, sad face, her ex-boyfriend Calvin Harris. Now, it was just a week ago when he totally threw the girl under the bus via a Twitter rant. I figure if you're happy in your new relationship, you should focus on that instead of trying to tear your ex BF down for something to do. I know you're off tour and you need someone new to try and bury, like Katie, etc., but I'm not that guy, sorry, I won't allow it. Oh no, he didn't. <laughs> Eesh, ex-boyfriends are so complicated. Now let's move on to an obvious choice, Katy Perry. So she hasn't come out and directly said anything about Taylor, but you have to admit, her timing is kind of everything. When Taylor gave her Rolling Stone interview hinting that bad blood was about Katy, she tweeted, watch out for Regina George in sheep's clothing. You could take that fake apology and shove it right up your hairy <laughs> And how about the tweet regarding the actual Bad Blood music video that went like this? Finding it ironic to parade the pit women against other women argument about as one unmeasurably capitalizes on the takedown of a woman. Side note, Camila Bell definitely agreed with Katie's tweet and replied, couldn't have said it better. Ooh. Then when Calvin went on his Twitter rant, Katie retweeted her own tweet that read, time, the ultimate truth teller, and posted this gif of Hillary Clinton giving her best, I told you so face. Look, we're not trying to be drama queens over here, but um... All right, so let's move on to Tina Fey and Amy Poehler, who tried to make Taylor the butt of this joke at the 2013 Golden Globes. You know what, Taylor Swift? You stay away from Michael J. Fox's son. <laughs> or go for it, or go for it. No, you. she needs some me time to learn about herself. Yeah, Taylor didn't take that one too well. In fact, she responded with her favorite Katie Kirk quote, there's a special place in hell for women who don't help other women. <laughs> Dude, this whole Hollywood scene seems so brutal. In fact, Tina and Amy's joke actually leads me to our next celebrity, Michael J. Fox. Now, after Tina and Amy made the gag about Taylor dating his son, Michael told Vulture, no, no, just back off. I don't keep up with it all, but Taylor Swift writes songs about everybody she goes out with, right? What a way to build a career. Ouch, way harsh, man. Now another celebrity who didn't hold back her thoughts on Taylor is Lord, who, as you may know, is actually one of her best friends now. But there was a time when things weren't so BFF-y. She called Taylor out for being too perfect. Taylor Swift is so flawless and so unattainable, and I don't think it's breeding anything good in young girls. I'm never going to be like Taylor Swift. Why can't I be as pretty as Lord? That's fine. Bullshit. Now, as I just mentioned, Lord has obviously changed her mind and even came to Taylor's rescue when this next celebrity hater tried to take her down. Diplo started some drama when he tweeted out, someone should make a Kickstarter to get Taylor Swift a booty. That's called blood. And that's where Lord stepped in with this insane burn. Should we do something about your tiny penis while we're at it? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what we like to call a mic drop. And your compliment greater than a hater. Okay, now let's talk about Miley Cyrus, who wasn't afraid to share her thoughts on Taylor's Bad Blood music video. Spoiler alert, she's not a fan. She opened up to Marie Claire saying, I don't get the violence revenge thing. That's supposed to be a good example, and I'm a bad role model because I'm running around with my t out. I'm not sure how t are worse than guns. Yikes. And then there was Demi Lovato, who we all know is never afraid to speak her mind. First, there was the time she seemingly called out Taylor for donating $250,000 to Kesha following her legal battle with Dr. Luke. She later addressed the drama with Refinery29 saying, there are women that I don't get along with and that's fine. My thing is, don't brand yourself a feminist if you don't do the work. I have an immense amount of respect for women like Lena Dunham or Beyonce who make amazing political statements through their 
their work. Alrighty then. Now we can't talk about celebs going after Taylor without including the mother of all Twitter feuds, the VMA nomination debacle involving her and Nicki Minaj. Now after Anaconda didn't receive love for video of the year, Nicki let it all out on Twitter writing, if your video celebrates women with very slim bodies, you will be nominated for vid of the year. You have the right to remain <laughs> we all thought she was talking about Taylor, which she has denied, but yeah. Okay, so let's move on to the president of the Taking Down Taylor Club, Kanye West. Jeez, where do I even start? Well, it all began with this. I'm really happy for you, I'm let you finish, but Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. Yeah, so after that happened, these two weren't exactly what you would call friends. But then it was after the 2015 Grammys when it seemed like they were actually cool. That is, until famous. I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. Why? I made that bitch famous. God damn! I made that bitch famous. Now, at first, Taylor denied that she knew anything about the song, which leads me to our final celebrity. We'll call her the queen of the Taking Down T-Swift Club, Kim Kardashian. Oh my gosh, talk about drama. Now, Kim unleashed videos of Kanye and Tay's phone conversation regarding the song, and people lost their minds. Yeah, I mean, what, don't whatever line you think is better. It's obviously very tongue-in-cheek. Way. And you know, if people ask me about it, I'll, I think it would be great for me to be like, look, she called me and told me the line before it came out. Like, jokes on you guys, we're fine. Oh my god! So much drama, so little time, it makes my head hurt just thinking and talking about it. It also makes me wonder though, do you think Taylor brings all this kind of drama on herself? Or do you think people are maybe just jealous of her and it's just the whole caddy industry doing its thing? I want to know your honest opinions in the comment section below right now. I don't know what I think because I've always liked Taylor. I've always wanted to be in her squad. I support her, but it makes you wonder. It really does. So let's talk it out in the comment section below. And of course, subscribe to Hollywear TV. And if you're liking this video, show me some love by liking it. That'd be cool. For Hollywear.com, I'm Chelsea Briggs, and I'll catch you on the flip side. For more Hollywear Hot Minutes, go ahead and click the box on the left. And to watch the full video all about the Kimye and Taylor Swift feud, click the box on the right and subscribe.